Hush, baby, hush. Rest your head on your pillow, little one. You'll be home with a ma soon. I've missed you, my child. I've missed you here, in the deep, in the dark, in the cold. Come to me, my sweet little Kian. Come home. How is he, Naani? Will he live? Your magic brought him back from the darkness. My magic helped him stay. But the fight is his alone now. He must choose to live. Hush, Kyo, hush. Rest your head on the pillow. You will soon be home. In the deep, in the dark, in the... Why do we keep him alive? He's the enemy. The fevering him up. No, Liko. We brought him here for a reason. We need him alive. You freed me, Kian Alvane. Don't blame yourself for my death. This is what I wanted. To be free. To be reborn. When I do kill you, you will feel every twist of my blade as your life drains away. Your pain and shame and dishonor will serve as my vengeance. And I will be there to witness your soul departing for the nether realms, for the shadow in that deep, dark, cold water. They can only protect you for so long, Apostle. In the end, you will have to face your sins. And you will pay for them. Sleep, my child. Sleep and never wake up. We're waiting for you. All of us. We're waiting in the deep. In the dark. Join us here. There's nothing for you out there. You belong here. With Amar, in the deep, dark, cold, forever and ever. I must go. He'll wake soon. Make sure he drinks water and eats. He will recover. The only wounds I cannot heal are on the inside. He must heal those himself. Wake up, Kian. Wake up. Wake up! Where in Shadow's name am I? I don't know why they didn't just kill him when they had the chance. After all, he's our enemy. He murdered Raven. I hear he defected. The Apostle's one of those now. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Shit, he's here. What if he heard what we- Shh! They're waiting for you out in the main hall. I'm glad to see you're up and about. Most gambled on the fever taking you. I won quite a few iron pieces, to be honest. Is it true that Captain Bakim sacrificed his life to free you from Friar's Keep? He was a good man. I hope it was worth it.
that one looks better dressed than most of the other rebels. He doesn't quite fit in. The traitor is back on his feet. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? There's still pain, but I won't admit to weakness in front of these strangers. My wounds are not fully healed. They've dressed them and seen to me while I've been feverish. They must know I'm still weak. This has to be a test. I won't answer their questions until I know who they are and what they want with me. My wounds are fine. What is this place? Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back? Liko. You are in the Enclave, the ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Mercuria. It serves as our base of operations. Our? The Resistance, Alvani. Those who have come together to fight the Azadi. Magicals, like her. And me. I remember... The Captain. He used my sword to run himself through. It's his blood on my hands. The portal. Blood magic. The shadow has cursed me. The goddess will not touch me again, and will never walk the slopes of the first mountain. The captain. Balsai Bakin laid down his life for yours, Kian. Why? Believe me, I've asked the same question. Why? Why lose a great man like Bakim over you? A butcher, an apostle, a fucking Azadi. He insults my people. They have committed crimes, yes, but the responsibility lies with our leaders, not with every Azadi. This creature, this man. I've seen many Dolmari in my life, but there's something familiar about this one. Do I know you? Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you, do they not? We're livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Kian Alvani. We'll add it to your list of crimes. I will not let anyone, least of all a Dalmari, speak to me in this way. My life was already taken from me. Why make all those sacrifices for a traitor and an enemy? Why am I here? We chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you. As a symbol. But also so much more. We need strength, we need leadership, we need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of magicals. We need someone to give us hope, so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blunt weapon, nothing more. We need your help, Kian. Will you join us? Do I have a choice? There is always choice. And for every choice, there are consequences. You can't let me leave. If I refuse, you'll kill me. We might kill you anyway. Just give me a reason. We have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new beginning, Kian. A new life. For the redemption I know you seek. I can never be one of them. But what choice is there? I have no nation, no faith, no mission. What does it matter that their resistance is not mine? And by fighting my people... I might save my people. Let them lock me up. Throw away the key. Let them kill me. I will never be one of them. What would you have me do? You will go into the city tonight, with Liko and Enu. They will give you instructions and they will keep an eye on you to... to make sure. To help, if needed. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this, 
and begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. She was the one who made me question myself. My mission. My faith. Fuck you, Garzi. There is nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me, please. Liko. Enough. This one leads the magical resistance. She's a Samare. I've never met their kind before. You have recovered well, Kian. Your wounds were deep. You are strong. You brought me back to life. I'm still not sure why or what for. We would not have saved you if we did not believe in you. The Dalmari does not agree. The Dalmari has a name, and Liko has his reasons. You may want to speak with him. And what if he's right? What if I'm not the man you think I am? It doesn't matter, Kian. You have been born again. You can become the man you want to be. Not everyone gets a chance at redemption, to undo the damage they have done and to shape their own future. The captain said the same thing, only with different words. Balsai is... he was a man who spoke his mind and spoke freely. I never met anyone who cursed as colorfully as he did. It was truly a thing of beauty. But he too had a past that haunted him. He was a lot like you. With us he was given a second chance, a rebirth, an opportunity for redemption to atone for his sins. And he did. For the time being, I can do more here than I can anywhere else. I'm caught between worlds, part of neither. I don't belong here. I don't belong anywhere. I will try not to disappoint you. I have faith. Don't talk to me about faith, Shepard. Faith is everything. Faith can lead you astray. Blind faith, yes. But faith can also lead you back to life. We will help you open your eyes. Kian, would you share your story with me? I have heard only fragments, rumors. I know there's more to it. She saved me. Gave me a second chance at life. She has faith in me, even when I've abandoned all hope. If anyone deserves the whole story, it's her. I want to put the past behind me. I remember it. That's enough for now. She means well, and I will hide nothing from her, but until I know the way forward, I'm not looking back. Of course, Shepard. Before all this, I was the Apostle. Back home in Azadir, I was loved and feared. I laid waste to our enemies in the name of the Goddess. A little over a year ago, I was summoned by the Six, our Empresses. They commanded me to travel across the sea to the occupied territories of the Northlands. I was to find and kill the rebel leader known as the Scorpion. He had murdered many Trueborn, and he stood in the way of our mission. I had always been taught that magic was evil, an affront to the laws of nature and to the Goddess. I'd been told that the magical races were dangerous and immoral. But when I arrived here in the Northlands and met the people of Mercuria, well, magicals were not the simple monsters of my childhood tales. Magic wasn't simply a tool for evildoers. It was a lot more complex. Then I met April Ryan, rebel leader. Of course, I didn't know it then. She was a stranger. Our meeting accidental. 
But I know now that it was meant to happen. She was strong and honorable and good. She stood up to me. She questioned my beliefs, my faith, my mission. Her strength made me question everything. But I still went after the Scorpion and the Resistance, blindly, on faith. I finally tracked down the Scorpion. April Ryan. Infidel. Terrorist. Leader of the Resistance. Nothing made sense. But a choice had been made. The consequences were inevitable. My own people had me followed. My blind faith led them straight to her. To April. They killed her. Decimated the Resistance. Sentenced me to death. For a year I rotted away in Friar's Keep. I was already dead. A walking corpse. I had lost everything. I had given up. But now... Now I have the opportunity to redeem myself and my nation. To help rebuild the Resistance. To avenge April Ryan. And to bring justice to those we... Those I have hurt. For that I'm grateful. Of course. Thank you. When you've spoken with the others and are ready to leave, come see me again. <laughs> 